Hello and welcome back to Jacanic. Today I'm going to let you in on the biggest secret there is about steel power equipment and its oil. When you go to buy a new piece of steel equipment, they make you buy steel oil. If you don't use it, they say that it will void your warranty. Now what they don't tell you is what the steel oil is going to do to your machine if you don't run it correctly. Whether you're buying a new string trimmer, hedge trimmer, blower, and even chainsaw sometimes, after a while you're going to find out that for some reason you don't have any power left. First off, let me start out with letting you know I am not paid by anybody to tell you this. I am not promoted by anybody to sell any certain brand. I am just letting you in on some of these secrets because in my 12 years of being a mechanic, this is what I see most at the shop. Hopefully you can take these tricks of the trade and save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. So I have customers come in all the time to the shop with their steel pieces of equipment and even with other brands of equipment that they're using steel oil in. They bought it brand new, they bought a brand new gas can, they bought ethanol free fuel, they mixed it correctly, they have ran their machine like they would any other machine and for some reason they have no power. Anytime this happens, my first question to the customer is, what kind of oil do you use? 99% of the time they tell me steel oil. The next question I ask them is, do you just barely run it around flower beds and stuff so you don't, you know, break out a window? And usually their answer is yes. So I'm going to put a disclaimer here. Steel oil is great oil. I am not knocking it at all. What I am saying is it's so good that it messes up some other things that you don't even realize you're messing up. Anytime one of these machines come into the shop, I check the piston and cylinder and it's beautiful. The steel oil is doing its job, it's lubricating correctly, but whenever somebody is not running their machine at full throttle, these machines are made to run at full throttle. If it's not, it's not burning off the carbon correctly and it will build up in the muffler or in the exhaust port. Now this is not really steel's fault. They made this oil so they can ensure that your engine internally lasts a very long time, which is a good thing. But at the same time, the government has put so much regulations on them to beef up the mufflers and make sure to keep all the emissions in that they can, that it is causing the exhaust to clog up. This is the steel FS55, which is the most common trimmer that I have come into the shop. Now, every piece of machinery has an exhaust port located on the muffler, coming out right there on this unit. Now, depending on which machine you have, your exhaust port might look a little different. The new backpack blowers, they have this little witch hat looking one. The ones that come out of the hedge trimmers, they've got a longer part right here. And the trimmers, like this FS55, they all have ones that are like this right here, about that short. But as you can see, these are ones that I've saved. Now, there's some mufflers on the 55 or on the FS90s. They have just a regular screen instead of one of these round ones. And as you can see, that one was real clogged up too. So all of these exhaust screens are ones that I saved out of customers' machines so I could show them when they came back what happened. Now, just so you have an idea of what a new uh, exhaust screen looks like and an old one looks like that's completely clogged up like there's not even one hole where anything can come through that that is a crazy difference now I'm not going to go over how to remove them today because it really depends on which unit you have some of them just take a socket some of the backpack blowers you have two screws with a little bracket holding it in um, some of them, you'll have one screw into your muffler. You'll need to remove that screw and then pull it out with some pliers. But I am going to go over with you how you can fix it all by yourself. So the best thing to use is one of those lighter torches. I don't have one of those today. I just have a regular lighter. So it might take a little longer than it normally would with a torch. But all you have to do is either catch it on fire or keep getting it hot until you can scrape all the carbon off. Like that one's on fire. Awesome. And we're just gonna burn all this carbon off. Now 
once you get it real good and hot, you can just scrape it right off. Needs a little more, but you can actually see through it now. So about 90% of the time, that's all you need to do and you're ready to go. There is those other times whenever it's clogged up so bad that between the muffler and the cylinder, it completely clogs that area up and you have to remove the muffler and scrape all that out. But most of the time, that's not the issue. Now, I know you're asking, can I just get rid of that screen? No, you cannot. <laughs> that is, there's a reason that it's in there and it is called a spark arrester exhaust screen because it helps sparks and balls of flame not come out your muffler. So it's sort of like a safety thing. You don't need to get rid of it. <laughs> so if you're asking what should I use in my gas, I would tell you because I'm an echo dealer, <laughs> you can either use Echo, uh, the Power Blend Gold. It's good stuff. It's what I put in everything. We also sell the Red Armor by, made by Echo. It has fuel stabilizer in it, and it's some of the best oil out there. I am not knocking steel, though. Steel is great oil. You're going to need to run it full throttle, and you won't have any problems. But if you don't, you will. So that's it. That's one of the biggest secrets and the easiest fixes I do at my shop. I hope I saved you some time, money, and frustration, and if you would, give me a like and a subscribe, and please comment. I read through all the comments, and if you have anything, questions about your small engine, please ask. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash chicanic. Thanks, and have a great day.